Let's be serious. You'd love it if girls actually approached you and came up and talked to you instead of you having to do all the work of overcoming your anxiety and approaching them and coming up with something to say and all that other stressful BS, right? At some point, you've probably even thought, man, it'd be so nice to be rich or famous or really good looking, so girls would come up to me instead of me having to go up to them. Because the simple fact is, girls just don't approach guys. Right? Wrong. In this video, I'm going to teach you three really specific things you can do to ensure that girls actually approach you and talk to you without you needing to approach them. I hope you're ready because this is going to be life changing. First, you have to understand why they don't approach you. There are two main reasons. One, attractive girls get checked out by dozens of guys every day. They get checked out at school, at work, at the gym, at the mall, at the movies, the clubs, the parties, walking down the street, online, everywhere. Creeps even go so far as to set up hidden webcams in hotels and Starbucks bathrooms to check out girls. I mean, come on! You ever hear of girls setting up webcams to check out dudes? Of course not! Most guys go around thinking that just because they noticed a girl that she noticed them too. No, she didn't. She noticed you in the same way she notices the UPS guy. She sees you there, but it means nothing to her, and she doesn't even think about approaching you. And two, even if you look like a really cool guy and a girl does want to talk to you, she usually won't because most girls aren't that confident. Not every girl is an uber-confident A-list runway model type of girl, and most of them have never approached a guy first, so they're just as nervous as you are, if not more so. Besides, it's not common for girls to approach guys. In fact, girls expect guys to go up to them, so your chances of getting approached are already heavily disadvantaged. These are the two main reasons why you don't get approached. One, she doesn't notice you, and two, she's nervous and doesn't know how to. So let me teach you how to fix those two things. Number one, do something that is one, unusual, two, high status, and three, involves her. For example, one thing I like to do is fly down from the sky and land in the vicinity of a hot girl. And she'll usually be like, whoa, did you just fly down here? Yeah, you see, now I'm an open-minded guy and I don't like to assume things, but I am assuming most of you watching this video are human, right? So you probably can't fly. Don't worry. <laughs> this is just an example to illustrate how the three points work. It's one, unusual, because how many other guys you've seen actually flying? Two, it's high status. You know, guys who can fly are badass. And three, it involves her, because, you know, I land a few feet away from her. These three things practically guarantee that she'll say something to me. Here's another example. I'd been going to the gym with one of my friends who's really into motorcycle stunts. So this new girl started working out at the gym we go to, and he thought she was really hot. But she always had headphones in and never came to the free weight area. So he said he never had a good opportunity to talk to her. One day, we're on the way home after the gym, riding our bikes, and the girl happens to be in her car, driving the same direction. So this dude starts doing no hand wheelies and just acting a fool, having lots of fun. She starts staring and has this expression on her face that's, you know, what the fuck? And half, holy shit, that's epic. We saw her at the gym the next day, and she approached us and asked him, do you ride like that all the time? That looks super dangerous. And they started laughing and talking. Boom. Easy. Notice how it used the same three points. One, it's unusual because she probably doesn't know many guys doing stuff like that. Two, it's high status. It shows a skill that takes a lot of effort to perfect. And it shows that he has balls. And three, it involves her because he did it in the lane right next to her. These three things practically guarantee that she'll start talking to you. Now, <laughs> this is a disclaimer. Obviously, you knew this was coming. Do not go out, buy yourself a motorcycle, and start doing stunts on it. And then, when you're in the hospital, be like, But mom, based Zeus told me to do it if I wanted to get girls. <laughs> no, this is just an example to illustrate the point. Take those three things, something unusual, high status, and that involves her, and apply them to your own strengths. A more normal example of this is what's known as the fun magnet. If you're at a party or a club, if you can manage to become the center of the action or the fun by dancing a lot with your friends and having a really dope time, the girls in your vicinity will often flock to you and feel more open dancing and talking to you since you seem like a fun guy who's easy to talk to. If you and your friends focus on creating fun and having a blast, that same energy will attract other girls looking for a good time. Number two. Look at something she's doing, not at her, at something she's doing. 
Like if she's standing next to you, you could look over at her phone, or if she drives up next to you, you could look at her car, and so on. Just keep looking at it, and usually what happens is the girl will have this sort of half-smile, and she'll ask what you're looking at. If she's doing something wrong, if there's something on her face, whatever, then you can just be like, oh no, and then comment on whatever it is, and either talk about it or immediately transition into something else. At this point, it really doesn't matter since the conversation has already started and she's the one who started it. And if you have a confident tone of voice and confident body language, she won't be creeped out and she'll be open to continuing it. Starting the conversation is always the hardest part. Keeping it going is the easy part. And people are much more open to continuous convos that have already started than they are at starting up new ones. This works well because it comes off as natural and non-tryhard. It's as if the thing she was doing caught your attention and you couldn't help but notice it. Number 3. If it's a girl you see often, like the one in your classes or on the bus every day or at the gym and so on, just make eye contact with her in a natural way a few times over the course of however many times you run into her. And then position yourself close to her, in a natural way obviously, so she has a good opening. You can use this in conjunction with one of the other techniques like tip number 1 or tip number 2. If she's seen you a couple of times already, and you haven't given her the impression that you're unfriendly or a creeper, she's going to be a lot more open to you than if you were just some random guy on the street. Because from a psychological perspective, people tend to be a lot more comfortable and open to things they're familiar with. And even just seeing you around a bunch of times will add to that familiarity. This will also be super helpful if you plan on opening her. You'll notice in a lot of these examples you want to give her an easy opening so she feels no pressure in saying something to you. Like I said earlier, girls aren't expected to approach guys so the idea of making the first move puts a lot of social pressure on the girl. Getting her to approach you first is all about reducing that pressure in subtle ways. Here are a few more specific ways you can give her an opening. Go to an event with girls who are passionate about the cause and be involved in it. It will make you less of a random guy and more of a guy part of the same group as her, lowering that pressure. Do something really interesting and occasionally make eye contact with her while having a slight smile on your face. Smiling and acknowledging a girl's eye contact shows that you're socially calibrated and not a creep. You actually understand social cues. Do something that makes it easy for her to comment on and do it close to her so she doesn't have to move to do it. I mean, you don't want her screaming across the room, hey, nice ass, Bubba, you know, even if that's what she's really thinking. Talk to one of your friends close by about something really interesting or unusual that gives her a good opportunity to interject. Fuck up. For example, if you're walking next to her, you could intentionally trip in a ridiculous way while looking like it wasn't intentional. I mean, who's not going to laugh at that, right? And when she laughs, you make immediate eye contact with her with a smile on your face. It's likely she'll say something like, are you alright? Or she might even tease you like having trouble walking. Or she might just make eye contact and laugh. Either way, it's an easy opportunity to start talking. Now this conflicts with what I said about doing something high status, because you would probably assume tripping or fucking up in some other way is low status. But it works well in some situations because it makes her less intimidated and therefore less pressure so she's more open and less guarded. Also, being higher status and higher value is more about how you react to situations as opposed to what the situations are to begin with. It can even be as simple as having really good style. Just last weekend, I had a girl open up to me. I was at this formal event in a tuxedo and I decided to wear a bow tie with little skulls on it. This girl just randomly said, hey, cool bow tie. Thanks, I've been waiting like six months for a chance like this to wear it. <laughs> And besides, this event is, you know, pretty dead, so it's appropriate, right? She laughed and said in a joking way, You don't get out much. I said, Nah, kind of a recluse. And we all smiled and laughed. It was great. Boom, conversation started. So easy. Notice how it was, one, unusual. Most of the guys there were just wearing the usual black, navy, dark gray, whatever. So the skulls on red really stood out. Two, High status. My entire outfit conveyed good style, and the bow tie showed I had the balls to stand out by wearing something unusual. And three, it involved her, because I was standing right next to her. You want to make it as easy for her as possible. If you're standing in the corner and your headphones are on, staring down at your phone with closed off body language like arms crossed and hunched over, and you never have a chance to make eye contact with her, she's not going to come over and talk to you. Make it easy for her. You know, it's not enough to just be a cool guy. It's important that you make it easy for her. For example, maybe this girl has already seen you around and wants to talk to you, but just doesn't know how. Then one day you roll up in a really nice car and she's like, whoa, nice car. 
A lot of guys mistake girls like this for gold diggers, when in reality, all they're doing is jumping on a really easy opportunity to start a conversation with you. You would have gotten the same effect whether you rolled up in a Lambo or a cool dirt bike or one of those three-wheel things, a go-kart, or your sister's pink VW. The idea behind all of it is that you've given her an easy opening. This is why guys who do drive really nice cars tend to attract tons of girls. It's not that all those girls are gold diggers. It's that every single time that guy goes out, he's basically handing every single girl around him an incredibly easy opening line. It's inception, bruh. And finally, be on the lookout for girls doing these things to you. Sometimes, even if you do all the right stuff, the girl still won't approach you. But she'll do something to make it easy for you to approach her. For example, at my gym, I see this girl on the stationary bikes almost every day. And almost every day, this guy goes and also uses the bikes. And every day when he shows up, she takes her headphones out for like 10 seconds and kind of glances at him. Clearly, she's trying to give him an easy in. Notice how she's doing the exact same three things that I talked about. One, it's unusual. She's going out of her way to make it easy for him to talk to her. That's pretty unusual. And two, high status. She's hot, so that's already a high status part. And three, she's involving him by practically inviting him to talk to her. Maybe one day he'll actually do it. I swear, if he ever does it, I'm going to ruin it by starting a slow clap from behind. <laughs> Not. So in summary... Do something that is one, unusual, two, high status, preferably, and three, involves her. If you want girls to approach you, you have to make it easy for them. Be on the lookout for them making it easy for you. This means they want you to talk to them. It's important to realize, though, that you shouldn't just do these three things constantly and use that as your excuse not to approach girls. You should try doing these things to make opportunities easier for you and her because if you do all three of these things, it makes it easier for you to start conversations with her as well. If you see an opportunity, take it. And while you're waiting for opportunities, you can do these three things as well to increase your overall results. And now that you're going to have tons of girls approaching you and you're going to be getting lots of phone numbers, you're going to need to know how to text these girls so they actually respond and agree to come out on dates with you. Almost every guy can relate to the feeling of texting the girl you like, only to be left with no response. Texting is the stage where guys get rejected and ghosted by girls the most. Getting hot girls to actually respond to all of your text messages and ask you to hang out comes down to what I call the great filter. If you can get past the great filter, then you'll blow past 99% of the guys hitting her up. And you'll join the elite 1% of men that she's chasing. Your dating life will be on easy mode. Hey, if you want to learn more on how to get past the great filter, click the link in the description and I'll give you a full breakdown on how to do it. So you can join the top 1% of men and start dating any girl you want. Yeah, bro, I'm talking about these 9s and 10s. I'll see you in there. Zeus out.